Well, Andy's just had the biggest meltdown in memory. That's, that's not been a fun day. folks and welcome to today's vlog. I, I don't normally start a vlog by getting disclaimers out there but I am going to get a couple of disclaimers out at the start of this vlog. So two things, based on the fact that I know a lot of people click on videos with this thumbnail and this title so I want to get this out there early so if you're just here to see Andy getting distressed you can move along. There is no footage of Andy at all anywhere in this video and it is just me telling you a story of what happened earlier in the day. Again we're, we're not going to be cutting back to shots, there's no footage of Andy at all. It is, it is me telling you a story of what was not a pleasant experience. Would you like to describe the scene when you walked into the house after uni today and then we'll do a flashback and I'll let everybody know how we reached that point. So Anna got home from uni about six o'clock today. What did you see when you walked into the room? Well first the bin wasn't empty and then I saw a Kevin not looking very jolly. Standing up. Standing up and then I walked into the room and Andy was in quite a distressed situation yeah the reason she mentions the bin not being emptied is because emptying the yeah. bin and tidying up a bit is one of the things that i'm supposed to do when anna's out at uni for the day so the fact that that wasn't done suggests i was either lazy and was going to be in trouble <laughs> or something had happened you pretty quickly figured out something had happened and what she'd actually walked in on was probably minute 45 maybe of a standoff basically between me and Andy that was all basically well at the time I thought it was all because of his computer and the fact he'd fallen out of his laptop I later found out and we'll get to that I later found out there was some mitigating circumstances that led to Andy just generally being a little bit on edge anyway excuse the squeaking in the background it's Dave playing with a dog toy it's better than him running around the room surely <laughs> and if we put him in the other room he'll just bark so he's just gonna sit there squeaking a dog toy let's rewind further because I mentioned mitigating circumstances. Um, the first one is as he was getting off the school bus today on the way home from school, obviously, school, I'm, so, I'm emotionally, mentally and emotionally drained and just really tired. Oh, it was so, it was, I know it was bad for Andy. It was pretty traumatic for me as well. I, <laughs> I know I'm not going to get a lot of sympathy, but goodness me. I, I did not know what to do. I've not been that stuck with Andy for a long, long time. So as he was getting off the school bus, the girl who sits next to him on the bus hit him. Not like a violent punch or anything like that, just like a, a little whack. And he like flinched back from it, didn't care for it at all. And those of you who were around a couple of years ago when we were discussing the things that led to him refusing to go to school way back when, one of the things was there was somebody on the bus who was hitting him and pinching him and just generally the school transport was not a nice experience for him and it got to the point where he was refusing to do it. When we eventually got him back to school, he was doing individual transport and it took us a long time to get him back on the school bus. So first incident, he got hit on the way off the bus. It, I didn't really read too much into it at the time. He flinched back but then didn't really make anything of it, didn't seem to complain about it, didn't seem upset at the time, just came in, got his jammers on and went on his laptop. Didn't go on his iPad at all, hasn't touched his iPad at all today, apart from later after he basically wasn't able to use the laptop anymore. But right up until you got home, he hadn't touched the iPad at all, which was unusual as well. But he went on his laptop and he was fine on the laptop for like an hour. I was just pottering around, finishing off putting the thumbnails and stuff on yesterday's videos. I went into the kitchen to start getting dinner ready for when Anna was coming home. Keep sticking my head around the corner every now and again to see what Andy's up to. As you do, you know, parenting. And I noticed who he was. And I noticed as I stuck my head around the door to see what he was doing, that he was in the settings of the laptop. Now, again, referring back to stories of recent troubles that he's had, a big issue he's had at school is going into the settings on, I, on the iPad and getting himself locked out. He's got a big thing. I was going to say, yeah, at the moment, but also going back years, mm. he's always loved the settings, hasn't he? He kind of 
kind of died off for a little while, but it's back with a vengeance it's now. But I remember when I first met you, your TV in your old flat was in Korean or something because Andy had gone into the settings, turned it into Korean, and you don't speak Korean, so you weren't able to change it back. But he's always I enjoyed. Channel, but yeah, it. he's always enjoyed going into the settings on things. But he was rooting around in the settings on the laptop, and I said, Andy, don't go in the settings. You're not allowed in the settings. Come on, just go on Google. And he just slammed the laptop shut. Which, again, if he's caught doing something he's not supposed to do, that's a pretty typical reaction with him with a laptop, isn't it? I've years been through many. Yeah, years ago, whenever he would fall out with the laptop, the lid would be slammed shut, he'd turn it over, rip the battery out, the battery would go one way, the laptop would go another way. He's had laptops where the screen is basically held on by tape. He's I had laptops that. where we've had to plug in external keyboards because the keyboards are broken. He is very, very rough with laptops. He generally doesn't get on with them very well. So we don't give it him, but he wants yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. It's why he hasn't really had one for a long time. But he, but he eventually, asked for it, hasn't he? Yeah, he asked for it. He eventually did open the lid up again, went back onto Google, started playing the QI theme again. I left him to it. Came back in a couple of minutes later. He's back in the settings. Andy, come on now. You're not in the settings. Can you close the settings down? You can, you can either use the internet or use your iPad or something else. I don't want you going in the settings. But again, as I'm saying this, laptop slammed shut again. And he started to get the eyes. You know what I mean? Anna knows what I mean when I say you get in the eyes, but you could see he's angry. Mm. Not necessarily angry at me or the situation, just... Okay, no, probably is the situation. I don't think he was necessarily angry at me, but angry that he's not able to do what he wants to do. And I'm now thinking... I've seen that a few times the past week. Yeah. He's struggling, bless him. Which, that's a story for another day when mm. we talk about his medication, because there's potential things around that that could be causing it i'm now I, i'm now in the situation where i'm thinking right i don't know what is bothering him i don't know if he's just rooting in the settings because he likes the settings and he's annoyed that i'm getting him to stop or is he going into the settings because something on the laptop is annoying him like is it has it fallen off the internet has the sound gone off is the contrast wrong but because as soon as i come near him he's slamming it shut all I'm seeing is a glimpse of the setting screen and a slam shut laptop. I can't take it off him because if you try and take a, take it off him to have a look yourself, he'll, he'll shut it. Yeah, he'll take it off you. He'll throw it across the room, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if he's bothered by me or bothered by the laptop. So left him to it again, came back in for a third time. And this time when I walked in, I didn't say anything to him. I didn't even see what he was doing. As I walked through the door... But did you have the, the, the teacher look on? No, I literally, uh, okay. as I walked through the door, he slammed the laptop shut and he was already crying when mm. I walked in. So he was in tears. The way, again, the way he always used to get with his laptop when mm. he's fallen out of it, he'd start crying, slam it shut, go through his routine with it. So something's definitely bothering him with the laptop. So I said, right, okay, I think we're finished with the laptop now. It's time to put the laptop away. And I went to take it from him. Didn't even get to touch it because I'm coming through the door. Went to take it from him and he chucked it down into the corner. Mm. And then as I'm coming towards him to take the laptop, he sort of came. I don't even know. He must have gone under me or round me. But this table that the camera is sitting on now, as I'm reaching over to pick the laptop up, he flung it up in the air. Didn't even tip it over. He got his, it's the little coffee table we have in the living room, the little laptop table, but it went up in the air, probably two, three feet off the floor. There was a mug on it that had half a cup of coffee in it, which yes, I'm a monster. I left my half cup of coffee in here while I was washing up. I think there was a half drunk can of Coke on it as well. You should I, finish your drink. I know, I really should. But it flew through the air. Drinks went everywhere. Now over there is a lot of tech. Yeah. The table itself landed on Dave, who was on the floor on the other side of the room. So I, it, this is kind of all happening in slow motion. Andy's raging at this point. He is so upset, shouting. The table is kind of slow motion spinning through the air. I can see liquid flying out of the two liquid holders. <clears throat> I can't, you shouldn't be laughing. 
if you don't if we didn't laugh we'd cry but i can't get to any of it quick enough i don't have my superpowers yet so the the table landed on dave the drinks went all over the floor unbelievably the glass table didn't break it's indestructible the, i told you the mug that was on it despite watching it spin through the air just landed on the floor no if i drop a mug you know, if I drop a mug into the sink while I'm washing up, You'll break. it will smash. This one was thrown up in the air, spinning, bounced off a hard floor. Is no it that problem. Cup? Yeah, this Is cup. It? Yeah. Okay, no, so it's got a little chip off the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see. But other than that, the integrity of the cup has been maintained, Should which is... Beverage in it, make sure it doesn't leak. Yeah, well, I've had another one this oh, evening, okay. so it's, yeah, it's been fine. So yeah, he's thrown a table across the room. So I finished taking the laptop off of him and where is that now it's on the table in the oh, room okay. um because i went and put it in there so i took the laptop which he and he kind of lunged towards it to try and get it but i pulled it away put it on the table in the other room and when i came back in he was completely naked his clothes were thrown across the room and he just kind of threw himself onto the floor it's really hard to describe it because it's like nothing i've ever seen anyone else do he kind of it must hurt. He kind of throws mm. himself down backwards. But then he doesn't have any pain receptors. As... I know, I know, but it's it's horrible to watch because he's so upset. He can't. He, he obviously can't process what's going on. He doesn't understand what's happening. Clothes have come off. Thrown himself back onto the floor. Somehow his chair is like a foot away from the wall. I don't even know what that might have been as we were both lunging around trying to catch tables or fling laptops or the other way around. I don't know when the chair has moved, but the chair's like a foot away from the wall. He's now lying on the floor in tears, screaming, shouting, completely naked. Dave's run off because he's just had a table land on him. There's drink two separate half drinks all over the floor on the other side of the room anna you can see my new hair gel stuff is under the tv where it landed because that was on this little table as well that's how far stuff went i hadn't Did even you do your hair though yeah i bought I bought two on a two for six pound deal i hadn't even noticed i've just noticed that now that it's landed under the tv that's how far everything went so i'm kind of half trying to mop that up because i know full well if i don't deal with the spillage the next thing that's going to happen, he's going to, he's going to get up and slip in the liquid and fall over. Oh, and will. Yeah, one of us is falling over. So I'm trying to clean that up while he's basically lying on the floor naked screaming. I get that mopped up with a towel, dump the towel in the other room and just come back in. And I, by, by the time I got back in here, he's wiped everything off of his board mm -hmm. and he's trying to prise the board away from the wall, mm -hmm. the date board, trying to pull it off the wall. So... I said, right, no, I'm taking all of your bits now. So I took I took his iPad, I took his DS, I took his Vita, I just took everything off him just to try and get his attention to get him away from the board. But he would break it, that's the thing. Oh yeah, if he's in, he wants to smash something yeah. at that point. So it's partly take it off him to get his attention. But yeah, like you say, it's if we don't take the iPad off him, that's the next thing. If he sees it, it's going across the room. So yeah. we get everything away from him when he's like this. And he just kind of slumped down onto the floor i'm stood there sort of looking down at him but not trying to stare at him i then realized the blinds were open and he's completely naked in the living room so i darted over the other side of the room to shut the blinds so if you live across the street from us and you saw a naked andy this afternoon stop looking for our living room window you weirdo we kind of just stood there David. for a little while I don't even know how long. My, I can feel my heartbeat thumping in my head. My temples are... Boom, 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 boom. I must have been beetroot red and I just didn't know what to do. I was blissfully unaware. Yeah, I just did not know what to do. And I probably after maybe... It could, I, I'll say 10 minutes. It could have been half an hour. It could have been 30 seconds. It, I, I was, it was so... It was one of those things where you just don't really know how much time is passing but i think it was probably five or ten minutes he just put his clothes back on and said sorry daddy and i said okay well, then you can have your ipad and your ds and your vita back but you're not having the laptop back today because you got upset with the laptop and he just went off again lunged for the wall again trying to rip the board off and that's pretty much where we were when anna walked through the door so he was 
I think I was sort of stood between him and the board, wasn't I? I was hovering over here. You were just he, stood there, and I came. The yeah. door was open. And he was, and he was sat on the floor, leaning on the sofa. I think at the time, I was stood there basically to stop him lunging at the board, ripping it off the wall. That's when Anna walked in, and he immediately went over to you, looking for hugs and affection and all that kind of stuff, didn't he? And then Anna saved the day. And what 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 did you do with us? Well, I ignored you. <laughs> That's the best thing to do is ignore Kevin. Because Kevin's in, in distress. We leave Kevin alone. Yeah, I was having my own meltdown so at the same time. <laughs> just because I'm I did not know what to do. I didn't know what was happening and I was just stuck. Kevin's not very hands-on when Andy's in the meltdown. So well, yeah, you always you always say that I have to grab him and yeah. hug him and hold him really tight and I just don't feel comfortable doing it. I know you don't, but that's for a couple of reasons. Reason one, I don't really do that to anybody. Except so, me. Yeah, so it doesn't really feel comfortable just hugging. Anyway, I'm not a huggy person. But secondly, I'm a big man and he's a small boy. And I don't know how... Hu you say, hug him, put some pressure on him. And mm -hmm. I'm terrified, especially because I'm only the stepdad. I'm terrified of squeezing him too hard and leaving a bruise. And having school say, how did he get this bruise on his arm? Oh, he was having a meltdown, so I was... Gripping him in my arms, giving him but a bear hug. But him when, when we had to give him haircuts. I know, I know. It's There's no logic to it. No. It's just I'm afraid of doing it because I don't want to hurt him. And he can flail. And I, for me, I feel safer taking a step back and letting him get it out of his system because then at least... And I think it's probably the teacher training instinct in me. Mm. I feel safer for me if I don't get physically involved, because if I get physically involved, I mean, even if I'm trying to restrain him and he slips in the spilt drink and bangs his head on the floor, well then he's got a head that's cracked open and my handprints on his arms. And how do you explain that way? I'd, mm -hmm. ra I'd rather just not get physically involved, but obviously- But it calms him. It does calm him. So you gave him a hug. So I ignored Kevin. Kevin went away in his mumbles. That he has. <laughs> trying to tell you what had happened, but you were obviously <laughs> trying to deal with Andy as first priority, yeah. as you should. And I'm trying to. <laughs> Why did he get you all the attention? <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I actually came out and said exactly that. But no, but you wanted it. Oh yeah, I I wanted a hug as well. <laughs> so I sat on my chair. Andy's on me, and we had a talk. And he was telling me that he wants to go to bed. He wants to go out, he wants to go to the shop. All right, fine. And he never likes to go out. He got dressed. I think he just wanted to get away from yeah. the traumatic situation, didn't he? So he got dressed, he went upstairs, he put back on his clothes, put his shoes on, and we went out for a walk. All of us, I went too. I wasn't invited, yeah, I <laughs> but I just... <laughs> he followed me. Yeah, I just... <laughs> I didn't want to be left at home on my own. I, I didn't know what was going on. Because part of me was thinking, he's saying he wants to go out, listing all these places he wants to go. And no home. If, yeah, if, yeah, he said he didn't want to be here. If he does round two of the meltdown when you're half a mile away at the park, you ain't going to be able to get him home. So I kind of thought, well, I need to be there with you anyway. And plus, I don't want to be on my own. I'll follow along. And plus, if they're going to the shop, I can get myself a white chocolate Twix. But... We wandered off to the, to the park. He was reluctant to get involved in anything initially, wasn't he? But so eventually... he, yeah, he didn't want you there. No, he, didn't he want, really didn't. Yeah, he didn't want Kevin there. He didn't want to go home. He just wanted to get out. He wanted to go home to Nottingham. That's what he kept talking about. And I was like, we can't. We don't live there anymore. So we just went for a walk. He was like, I was. He was slightly in front of me, just so he could have. A minute or two. It was very fresh outside, wasn't it? It's freezing. I didn't have a coat on. <laughs> so we just walked apart. He tried to go on one of the exercise things. Mm -hmm. And then we went on the park and he sat on the swing. He didn't want anyone to touch him. He just wanted Danny to do it. So we stood back, let him do that. Then he walked off from there, went to the spin at the roundabout, roundabout spin that. And then went and climbed on the climbing frame. It was just fine. Yeah, he ch just sort of chilled himself out, having some time on his own, didn't he? Yeah, and then he decided he was going to the shop, so he went to well, the shop. Well, on the way to the shop, we just, or we we actually got to have a conversation for the first time all day, because you'd been out all day, and then you'd come home to that. And it was then that you mentioned an email you'd been sent from school mm -hmm. that I hadn't been sent, 
And it turns out that another mitigating factor is that there was a, an actual fire at school today, not a fire drill, an actual mm. fire. So they had to evacuate the school and... Again, oh. it's out of his routine. Yeah. He, he doesn't really like... It's not allowed, it's not like that we would have at a normal school, it's quite low, but the yeah. fact that it's... it's the school is fine, by the way. It's not like burnt down. But <laughs> obviously, the fire brigade had to come, put the fire out, check it was all okay. And then 300 they had, kids and yeah, whatnot. They did end up going back into the school. So it was all fine in the end. He'll be there tomorrow. But he's obviously gone through that trauma, then had the issue getting off the bus, and then whatever has happened on the laptop, and we still don't know what the issue with the laptop was, whatever the issue with the laptop was has just been the straw that broke the camel's back. It's tipped him over the edge. And now I can understand why it happened it makes more sense to me but that's when we discovered that and it kind of oh okay now i get it if i'd have known that i might yeah, not I have been just didn't yeah occur to me to tell you I no just... no but it, it, if i'd have known that i might have been i might have given him one more try with the settings mm. before i said right it's time to put that away i might have been a little bit more flexible on what he was doing but i just thought you know three strikes and you're out normal thing two warnings okay you've had your two warnings now i'm going to take it off you we do do proper parenting with him we don't just let him have free reign of the house which is what i think some people think what goes on here we just let him do what he wants with no control but we do have no, we just yeah we do have home rules is home. yeah school is school but um yeah so we went to the shop he walked around picked some bits up that he wanted you picked what you yeah wanted. i got my, got my white chocolate twix and then we came which was out horrible. So when when he didn't go to school, we would go shop, go park, then watch bus, then go home. So this was in a different order. And then he, instead of going back towards the park, he went the other way. And then he wanted to wait for the bus. I checked, and it's like, oh, but there was a bus coming. He saw that, got in, went and put his jammers on, came down, had a waffle, and then. Well, even before that, because <laughs> I wasn't willing to completely roll over and let him claim a victory. So when we got in. Um, I said you can ha you can have everything back apart from the laptop. He's still not got the laptop back. Um, we'll let him have that after school tomorrow. We agreed with him. I would let him have his iPad, his DS, and his Vita back on the condition that first he let me write everything back on his board again, and he let me do that. He sat and read it again. We have now lost the little metal circle that went around the month that we'd kept for so long, but that got flung off when he was. Amazing. attacking it so yeah. i don't know where that is so i've now just circled april with a pen but i wrote all that on there he sat himself back down and i gave him back his ipad his vita and his ds and he was completely fine for the rest of the evening wasn't he just he asked for the laptop maybe once more we said no remember you can have it after school tomorrow he was fine with that he's fine with going back to school tomorrow he's got no issue about the bus he's got no issue about the fire drill at the fire itself he seemed to completely chill out afterwards. But and then Kevin got a cuddle. Yeah, and then finally I got my attention because it was, it was, it was so hard. I've, I've not, I've not known it be that hard. And I think a large part of it is that I was on my own dealing with it, and I don't, don't know that I've ever dealt with a meltdown on my own before. No. Um, so I think it was the first time ever having to do it on my own, which you're an old hand at, but I've always had you there. For us to sort of tag team and we have we each have our certain roles that we do and so i'm the the firm one with the rules and the this is what and we'll do this and you can have this but you can't have that and anna's the one who cuddles him and rubs his head and tells him everything's going to be okay and it works well tag teaming him but trying to do it on my own i realized i was completely incapable of doing anna's role i just don't have it in me i don't know how to do it and it's so mean though it's not that i mean give him attention <laughs> <laughs> I know what works. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but we got there in the end. And we're not laughing at him, it's just Like I said before, you have to you have to have some kind of release. It's either laughter or crying and I don't cry, so I have to laugh. It's the rules. It's just silly because I guess it's it's like it'll be a simple thing we can we can work it out. It'll probably just be just... something like it's not connected to the internet yeah, anymore. But he just can't explain mm. it because it gets he gets so frustrated laptops have always been a problem mm. with him going back years like i say this is the worst meltdown i've known probably since the one outside the church when we got locked out oh, out of there fun, years ago it was as bad as that i think and yeah, as bad as cow up i 
wasn't there for most of no, co-op, sure. was I? But, yeah, I've not seen him strip his clothes off for a little while. I've not seen him... Oh, it was just... I know I mentioned medication. I don't want to get into that today because this is already nearly a half-hour video. But, obviously, we are upping his medication at the moment. Again, it takes a few weeks to... It does, but one of the side effects of the medication is increased anxiety and increased like frustration and stuff so part of me thinks is this because we left it a little bit too late before upping the medication and it will calm itself down after a couple of weeks or is the ink like you said you've seen the eyes a couple of times this week I have, it's is that weird. because he's now on an increased dose of the medication and he's angrier as a result of the medication so we've got a review with the uh, psychiatrist on the phone in a couple of weeks now haven't we and we'll obviously let them know all of our thoughts on it and they can decide whether he goes up again, goes back down, tries something different completely. But we'll talk about medication properly another day because this has already been a super, super long video. Yeah, I've been woken up twice. <laughs> yeah, Anna snuck off to go to bed. I didn't sneak off. I went to give a bath and then I have to lay on my bed wait for him to go to but sleep. But I, I mentioned to her that I did need her to help tell this story because yeah. she was such an integral part of it. But... She came in, she saved the day, she was the hero. So, Anna wins today's vlog. We, <laughs> me and Andy discovered today, or I discovered today, that no matter how much of a smarty pants I think I am, as Mr. Autism Parent, I could not do it without this one here. Because I can't do that side of that. Just, I mean, on the flip side, you can't do my side either. We do need... Oh, I can't, no. Yeah, we have, we each have to play our role that we've developed over the years. And we have to tag team him. Like so. I, no, I can't be mean to him when he's in this. It's state. not being mean. That's <laughs> okay. No, it, I can't be. This... That that. <laughs> I see it as mean because it's not being firm, okay. setting rules, enforcing the rules. Yes, but you can't have two people like that. No, I know. That's what I mean. We both play our role perfectly, uh, but we can't do each other's roles. Oh god! So when it's just one of us and it happens, it's a nightmare, like oh, it was I today. You. He used to go to work, Kevin, and I would have it daily, uh, but... But we will wrap... You should have just put him in his room. He wouldn't go up. I, th uh, that was okay. that was the first thing I said, do you want to go upstairs to your room? Knowing that he likes to go up there, he's got his safe space up there, he his little tent on his, his bed, room. but at least right. in there there's nothing breakable. He wouldn't go upstairs, he wouldn't He wouldn't have any of it, He just all he wanted was you to come home, which you did, thankfully. Did you tell him? Yeah, I, he knew what time you were coming. But we will wrap today's vlog up there because it has been a massively and Dave long has one. Decimated the yeah, film. apologies for waffling on, but I don't know how we could have told that story any more concisely. We've actually spent almost as long telling the story as the incident took. <laughs> <laughs> Which I suppose to... that's because we've described it moment by moment. So we I need guess to diffuse the whole thing yeah. for like less than half an hour, and Kevin was just like, <laughs> "It's funny when Kevin is, it's like that because he's." Completely quiet and follows me around. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> but we will wrap today's vlog up there. If you have enjoyed it, regardless, just give us a nice big, th give us a thumbs up to make us feel better, make me feel better because oh, I feel dear. defeated. <laughs> I feel like a broken man. So a thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching. 